Hi, my name is Paul Kautza. I'm the Director of Education for the Data Warehousing Institute, and we're here in Las Vegas at our Las Vegas World Conference, and I'm joined by Lynn Silverstein, who is owner and uh, president of Universal Data Models, and Chris Krishnan, who is CEO of Sixth Sense Advisors, and thank you guys for joining me. Uh, uh, they're both teaching for me this week here different things, but we've got um, our Chicago conference coming up, and the theme of that conference is going to be the big data tipping point. And uh, I remember the last conference we were at, we were standing around and talking, and all of a sudden you, got, you two got very, very excited. And I didn't know why, and then you dragged me over. <laughs> and he said, we have a new class for you for, for Chicago, for big data. And you call it the human side of big data. Can you just uh, you know, give us a little bit of genesis of what, what sparked in your minds? Because you two do pretty different things in, in, in consulting world. So what, what kind of gelled in your mind and brought you to that piece? And, Tell me a little bit about what, what that looked like. Well, as you know, Paul, I've been uh, investigating human behavior and human dynamics for the last decade as it relates to data. Mm -hmm. And then I started talking to Krish about big data and us realizing that the, the criticality of human dynamics regarding big data, that before big data even is big data, all these algorithms are created by human minds. And then when the big data is created, it's used by human minds. So without understanding human behavior, big data is, 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 is not really useful. Mm -hmm. And what's really excited about it is not many people are focused on this idea of how do we create all these human dynamics frameworks and principles of which there's many out there and apply it to big data to get, to get big results. So for instance, uh, when people are creating big data algorithms, what are the motivations behind these algorithms? What's the filtering going on? When people are using big data for decisions, what's happening in the human mind with these decisions mm -hmm. so that it can really be big value? And then I was really excited to, to work with Chris, who's one of the top experts in unstructured data and big data, to lend the technical aspects of, yes. of big data. Why don't you uh, talk about that? So going to that table conversation in the last conference, Paul, where we put the napkin in front of you. Yes. Here's, the idea, right? <laughs> here's my next class. <laughs> right. So the, to what Len said, big data is all about behaviors. So we are helping enterprises to think through, you know, going from transactional-based decision support to behavioral-oriented decision support. And there is a huge difference, right? And to make that happen in a functional manner, you need people, process, and technology. Technology is already addressed. We, we all know the big data movement and all the technologies. But people are the prime movers for this to be successful. And that is when, when, when Len and I got together and we were discussing about the human side of data warehousing, which mm -hmm. you know, Len already co-teaches with Correct. Claudia Imhoff, we said we should probably create a course on similar outlines. And to make it very interesting, it is going to be use case driven. It is going to have a lot of interactive exercises. We have a lot of role plays you know, I mean, um, we will be interchangeably playing roles of a CIO, CMO in an organization, the conservative thinker versus the rebel, you know, in the organization, mm -hmm. governance, conflict management. I mean, anything that is going to become a problem that will permeate within the big data space as companies implement big data, this course is going to be a precursor on how you can actually resolve those, you know, issues because it is all people driven. And then how do you actually define success criteria? So our goal is to be able to help organizations understand that success begins with making sure that you have alignment. Mm -hmm. And alignment means people, and people means process. So that, is our, that was our 30 second mind yeah, melt, if you will. And I know you guys are very excited about it. And in and, and matter of fact, you had the abstract to me, I think, the next morning. But I, I, I think that's been a, kind of a common problem for all of us in this space for probably the last 30 years. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Is everybody's looking for a button to push to get the right answer. Well, yeah. what, what question are they trying to ask? What issue are they trying to solve? What's the real fundamental business problem they're trying to tackle? And I think as big data come, comes along and all, uh, Hadoop and all this, they think, oh, that's just machine learning. It's just going to happen. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's going to look at all this data. It's going to pull all back and give us the answer. And I think this this kind of a class is going to be very exciting because it does bring in the human elements and the, and the people that are actually looking at the sheets to say, what am I going to do with that right. number? 
right? And what we're also doing is bringing in very effective frameworks that we've used in other information management strategies and clients on data governance and master data management and a lot of other disciplines. These, these frameworks that we're bringing in uh, have been proven to work extremely well. And what Chris brings to the table also is many case studies regarding big data mm -hmm. and how you would take these real practical frameworks around trust, motivations, conflict management, vision, and uh, uh, so we'll be giving participants this toolkit that, that uh, will be very effective. And, and to add to that, um, it's an interactive class. So we're going to have people form groups, play roles, you know, present their thoughts. So it's, mm -hmm. it's, not a, it's not a course, right? It's not like an MBA class where you sit and we draw the, the formulas on the board. We're making this as interactive as possible. Could be a little more workshop type format. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. It, yeah. It, has, it has some workshop type format, some debate, right? some kind of a role play, some kind of, you know, let's put a situation and see what people will respond to. So we're, we're doing, it's a combination of psychology and architecture together, which is what we represent. Terrific. In the course. Well, that should be very exciting. It should be a very good course, and I'm looking forward to, to, to seeing it. And uh, if you're interested in it, it'll be at, uh, in Chicago, uh, May 5th through 10th at our Chicago conference. Len yes. and uh, Krish, thank you for joining me. I'm Paul Kautzer with the Data Warehousing Institute. I hope to see you in Chicago.